نائن الیون کے بعد پاکستان اور افغانستان میں دہشتگردی کا ایک نیا سلسلہ شروع ہوا جس نے دونوں ممالک میں ہزاروں افراد کی جانے لی ہیں گزشتہ دس سال کے دوران مبینہ طور پر کیمیائی ہتھیاروں کا بھی استعمال کیا گیا ہے جس سے دونوں ممالک کے عوام مہلک امراض کا شکار ہو رہے ہیں اس بارے میں پشاور میں ڈاؤن نیوز کے بیرو چیف ظاہر شاہ شیرازی نے کابل میں ڈاکٹر داؤد میراکئی سے خصوصی بات چیت کی ہے آئی دیکھتے ہیں which areas perhaps you feel are most affected and uh, uh, the, the most probable uh, deformities which you have come across through research are such kind of things. Uh, what do you suggest and what kind of things and which areas are mostly affected by this thing? Uh, unfortunately, all the areas that are affected are Pashtun provinces. They, are, they have used... They have used these weapons in Pashtun areas liberally. The initial bombing that took place in Tora Bora, uh, uh, the, the significant operation that took in Tora Bora, in Shai Kot, in other areas, they have used the various new generations of weapons. But the issue is this, these weapons do not discriminate. What I mean by that is, when they hit target, they pulverize. When they pulverize, they are susceptible to wind flow as well as, as, well as water currents. And it, it it spreads it toward Afghanistan, but also it takes it to the neighboring pro uh, countries, such as Pakistan. The water flow to Pakistan, uh, uh, the, the, these isotopes gets into the water, uh, the water flow that goes into Pakistan, as well as to the food chain. The food chain and unexpectedly sudden rises in, in cancers, adult leukemia, congenital deformities that defies probability, as well as, as well as rise in, uh, in uh, diabetes, rise in other conditions, skin lesions, and uh, spontaneous abortions among humans and animals. So what do you think, what was uh, the main reason behind experimenting this thing here, uh, whether they, they could not uh, take over the Taliban with normal weapons that they are going for specific weapons? Do, and don't you think that it's a war crime to use such indeed, kind of weapons? Indeed, indeed, indeed. You see, the use of these weapons initially in Iraq were to impress the world of the capability of the United States to, to devastate any uh, mechanized army. You see, uh, if you look at the, the highway of death from Basra to Iraq, over 100,000 soldiers were being killed, entire tank uh, brigades were eliminated, the, use, the effective use of these weapons, because American Abram tanks have these solid solid uranium alloys in these, uh, these uh, projectiles. Once they hit the target, they destroy the target, and it, it ignites fire within. It ignites fire within. It totally incinerates the target itself. So it, it was, in my opinion, kind of a, a, a show off, if you will. But fundamentally, fundamentally, the aim was that they wanted to, sh to have the people, this is at least, uh, on the surface, an explanation, what the Americans do is these uranium byproduct that is being left from the conversion of weapons as well as the conversion of uranium in the utility of, uh, in the production of electricity, in, in order to store these uh, 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 depleted uranium and others, it would cost them billions and billions upon dollars. The easy way to get rid of them, turn them into weapons. It is very, it's virtually cheap to the manufacturers, virtually uh, free to the manufacturers. Don't you think that they are resorting to human, uh, human genocide and that perhaps they should be uh, tried for some kind of actually, war crimes? Actually, there was an international war crime tribunal in Japan in 2004. I was one of the main witnesses against George W. Bush. Based on the evidences we have provided, based on the evidence that we have marshaled over there, and where tens of uh, attorneys and judges from all over the world were present, George W. Bush was found guilty on 13 crimes, uh, counts of uh, war crimes, genocide, and crimes against humanity in absentia. And we have established this. This is against the Geneva uh, Accord. This is against the weapon of, uh, of mass destruction, you know, the, the, the use of, mass in, of weapon of mass destruction in areas where population can be affected, as well as against the actual UN Charter. Because you, this, is a, a, this is a genocidal weapon. It, it does not discriminate between combatants and non-combatants. But the problem is this. As we know, the old saying goes, 
might is right. Afghan jung mein kimyai hathiyaron ka inkishaf hua hai, istemal ka jo intehai tashvishnaak baat hai. Shamil karte hain Afghanistan.